What's up everybody in Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube land? This is Jesse Byrne representing Team FTK and I'm here with Rodrigo and he's going to show us his Dark Magician deck. Yep. And we are here at the VIP spot for Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments here in Houston, which is Gerard's Gaming. I will be linking their Facebook page as well as their Facebook group down in the description. So let's go ahead and show you guys what he's playing and get into the deck profile. Alright man, let's get started then. So, first thing, I, I rock with uh, three Dark Magicians. That's the main thing you gotta rock. Afterwards, I'll rock an apprentice. I'm trying to get two more, but one is enough right now. Afterwards, I'm gonna rock uh, three rots. Three rots is a search, so you can search for your spawn traps, like navigation and circles, and dark magic attack, other cards you can for dark magician. Afterwards, you get a magician illusion. He's pretty good because he's on the field. He counts as a dark magician he's on the field. And he got another effect. If you activate a spoiled trap card during your opponent's turn, you can special summon this card from your hand to the field. It's pretty good. Afterwards, I rock a dark magician of chaos. So you can banish your monsters. Afterwards, when, when this card's in the field, you can add a spoiled card to your hand. He's useful, especially, especially with the attack of 2800. Afterwards, I rock uh, three Mahats. Oh, two Mahats, sorry. If you draw this card, you can special summon this card from your hand. And on top of that, if you, if you battle a Dark type, this card, this card uh, becomes double the attack power, so 5,000. That's pretty good. Then I rock the Max C. For every time your opponent special summon a monster, you can draw the card. Draw power. And that's it with monsters. Uh, next, uh, next thing is the uh, uh, magic cards. I rock uh, three circles. You know what it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it explains itself. Yeah, yeah, it does. Afterwards, I rock uh, three eye Tamayas. This card is really good because you can special summon Amity Dragon, Dark Magician. On top of that, there's new support cards, fusion support cards for Dark Magician. So this card is going to help a lot though later on in the future. Then we got a dark magic attack, so we can clean the backfield, so we won't have to worry about it. And I rock two old school cards, magical mallets. It helps a lot though. If you got a dead hand, you can return those cards and draw a new hand. Pretty good. And I got a twin twister. You know what everybody does. Yep. does. Yeah. Clear that background. Yep. And I got a illusion magic. If you got dark condition in the graveyard, you can add them to your hand by sacrificing a one spell caster in the field. It's pretty good. And I got this card, Dark Magic Veil. What it does, you pay a thousand life points. You can special summon a dark type, spellcaster type, from your hand or graveyard. It helps a lot. And I rock one secret village of a spellcaster. So your opponent got some magic cards and they don't got no spellcaster types. You got it in the hand, man. It's a good card, helps a lot. A lot of wins. I rock a spell book of knowledge. I'm trying to get one more. Draw power is pretty good. Yeah, they consistency. Yeah. And I rock a Rigeki. Throw the all, mo all monsters in the field. Helps a lot too. Uh, I rock a one and one. Oh, soul charge. So you can special summon monsters. Until you don't have no monsters in the field, you can have a whole field. But only thing is, you have to pay a thousand life points for each monster, so it's pretty good. I rock a uh, dedication to light and darkness, special summon Demot, it helps a lot. That's enough with the magic cards. I got trap cards now. I got I rock a uh, three navigations. This card is like your main card to special summon dark position. Mm -hmm. What it does, you can if you got a dark condition in your hand, you can special summon a. Uh, Dark condition from your hand and a seven or lower dark type spellcaster from your deck to the field. So yeah, that's two monsters in one part. So it's pretty good. Then I rock a uh, two internal souls. You know what it does. Yeah. yeah. Afterwards I rock a uh, two dark renewals. Full four variants. This card helps a lot, man. If you're facing a lot of weak opponents with a weak attack with really good effects, send all those cards to the graveyard. It helps a lot. Yeah. Then I rock a Divine Rat. If your opponent wants to activate a monster effect, just negate it by discarding one card from the hand. Then I rock a 
this little trap part. If you got a fusion, dark lad, uh, fusion uh, boss blader. If, this, if you got this card face down, you can activate it and banish all your monsters on the field. It helps a lot. Only rock one though. Yeah. Afterwards, I got Johnny Mirror Force. We turn everything back to the hand. We can get direct attack from your opponent. Then I rock one Quaking Mirror Force. If your opponent's attack, you can uh, put them face down and yeah. you can't change the battle position no more. It helps a lot too. And I rock a uh, Soul Charm, I mean, uh, some, some Morning, Negate Summonings, Chaos Trap Pool, Negate the Summoning of Light and Dark, yep. then Banish it, and my last card, Rock of Torrential Tribune, yep. throw all cards in the field. Alright man, let's see what you got going on in the extra deck now. Go ahead and move this aside right here. Alright man, I rock uh, three Dark Paladins. Let's go in the Itemized place, yep. right there. Amulet Dragon, two big eyes, three Ebons, Ebon Illusions, and one Ebon High Magician, and one Red Eyes. Nice, nice right there. So that was the, the main and extra deck here with Rodrigo. with Rodrigo, and this has been Jesse Byrne with Team FTK. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out Gerard's Gaming for awesome locals. All right, guys, this is Jesse signing out. Thank you. Peace.